Hello everyone, Chris Tisdale here again. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to continue my Beginner's Guide to Calculus series. And in the previous videos, we looked at what we called implicit differentiation. So in this video, I'm going to continue with another basic example. Okay, although this is a little bit more involved than the examples that we've seen so far. So let's just refresh our memories. Implicit equations are of this form, where we assume that y is a function of x, and it's not easy or desirable uh, to write it in the form y equals f, little f of x. Okay, and so he, here's some examples, all right? And um, the idea is to compute a derivative, because remember this is uh, uh, the subject of calculus, so we want to be able to take a derivative when we can. You can compute it by essentially differentiating both sides of the uh, equation and applying the chain rule and a rearrangement. And we looked at some different examples. So let me give you a slightly more involved example for this video, okay? So we are given this as our um, implicit type equation here. You, can, you, you might say, well, that doesn't have a zero over here, but if you want to, you can write it like this. just by moving the constant around. Now, in our process of differentiating both sides, this constant makes no difference to the derivative, okay? So, um, so before I actually get to that, let's have a look at the live stream. Barbecue Sasuk has said, thanks for helping me pass differential equations. You are welcome. Let me write something there. You are welcome. Okay, I appreciate the uh, the comments. I appreciate you tuning in, and congratulations on passing differential equations. That's uh, that that's it's amazing, right? So let me just bring that down so you can see the full the full equation there. Okay, all right. So back to the uh, back to the program. So let's differentiate both sides of this equation. The constant here isn't going to change that, and. we have the following. So from this start equation, let's consider differentiating both sides. Okay, and we can distribute this operator into these brackets, and this thing here is going to be zero because the derivative of a constant is always zero. So it's going to be zero. Now the question is, what do we do with these? Now note closely that you have a product in each case. You have x times y here, and you have x squared times y squared there. So I guess there's a couple of ways you can do this. I'm going to use the product rule, okay? And um, basically the product rule tells you that it's the in the first bracket, it's x, x times the derivative of y plus y times the derivative of x, okay? So let's write that out, okay? So it's going to be uh, x times the derivative of y plus y times the derivative of x. Now, this is just dy dx. This is easy to calculate. It'll be 1. And you just do the same with the next bracket, okay? So it's going to be x squared times the derivative of oh, y squared, y squared, that's a y squared, okay? Um, plus y squared times the derivative of x squared. Okay, so, okay, so this is just a y dx. This is going to be 1 question is what is that going to be and that's going to become 2x so this is where we're going to invoke the chain rule okay so the chain rule basically gives us a way of 
differentiating this. The, the problem here is that we're differ differentiating with respect to x, but we have a y there. So, so what do we do? Well, we can essentially write it in the following form, right? So um, let me just go up here. And so the chain rule basically tells you that I can write this operator in the following form. Okay, so this product, and you can kind of verify it, if you like, by covering up the dy's and imagining them as fractions. Okay, so there they are. Whoop, there they are, gone. Okay, so you get the, the left-hand side when you cover them up. All right, so we can use that to our advantage here. So um, we can write this big mess out. So let's, let's continue. This is going to be 1. Now, this, let's write ddx as dy dx times ddy. And this over here, ddx of x squared is going to be 2x. Okay, so here we've used the chain rule. Okay. All right. So now we can take the derivative of y squared with respect to y. Awesome. So are we now going to get... The derivative of y squared with respect to y is 2y. So this is this is going to become a 2y, and I'm going to get x squared times 2 uh, times dy dx. Okay, and I'll write this as 2xy squared. Phew! Okay, so we have no more differentiations to make. The last part of the step, as we mentioned over here, was a rearrangement to make dy dx the subject. So let's take the like terms together. We'll move the other terms to the left-hand side. And so there's a common factor there. So I'm going to write x plus 2y x squared. So for that term and that term times dy dx. I'm going to move that term to the other side and that term to the other side. And now I can just divide. Okay. To make dy dx the subject. Um, should I write? No, I can write that like that. Okay, so we did it. We did it. So we have computed our derivative. Notice that involves not just x, but y also. Okay? And the, the method was exactly what, what we outlined here. We differentiated both sides. Well, there wasn't a zero here, but like I said, it doesn't matter. We computed the difficult derivatives by the chain rule. Before we did that, we used the product rule. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate your comments. If you have any more comments, you can put them in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.